सो अ स्टेप बाई स्टेप गाइड टू गेट सो यू डोंट बी नर्वस दिस बिगिनर्स गाइड विल क्विकली एंड ईजली गेट यू स्टार्टड यूजिंग गेट If you have never used Git, you may be nervous about it. There is nothing to work worry about. You know, just follow along with the step by step getting started guide, and you will soon have a new uh, Git repository, repository hosted on GitHub. Before we dive in, let's uh, clear up a common misconception. Git isn't the same thing as GitHub. Git is a version uh, control system. that is a piece of software that that helps you keep track of your computer programs and files and the changes that are made to them over time it also allows you to collaborate with your peers or a program code or file github and similar services including gitlab and bitbucket are websites that host a git server program to hold your code So step one, create a GitHub account. The easiest way to get started is to create an account on GitHub dot com, and uh, it's free. Pick a username, for example, Octo Cat one two three. Enter your email address and a password, and click sign up for GitHub. Once you are in, it will something uh, you know look like this. Let me show you. here it will look like this now the step 2 uh, is create a new re repository a repository is like a place or a container where something is stored in this case we are creating a git repository to store code to create a new repository select new repository from the uh, sign uh, drop down menu you can see i have selected in the upper right corner in the image above uh, let me show you this and this here so enter a name for your repository for example demo and click create repository don't worry about the changing any other option on this page congratulations you have set up your first repo on github.com step 3 create a file once your repo is created it will look like this you know wait let me show you you know it will look like this don't panic it's smaller than it looks stay with me look at the section that starts or create a new repository on the command line and ignore the rest for now open the terminal program on your computer type git and hit enter if it says command you know then uh, bash git command not found then install git with the command for your linux operating system or distribution check the installation by typing git and hitting enter if it's uh, you know installed you should see a bunch of information about how you can use this command in the terminal type uh, in the terminal sorry in the terminal you should type uh, wait let me show you wait you know in the terminal type this mk uh dir demo right this command will create a directory or folder name demo change your terminal to the demo directory with the command uh here cd demo then enter echo demo readme.md This creates a file named readme dot md and writes a hashtag demo in it. To check that the file was created successfully, enter cat readme dot md. This will show you uh, what is uh, inside the readme dot md file. If the file was created correctly, your terminal will look like this. This. All right. To tell your computer that demo is a directory managed by the Git program, enter. git i n i t in it right then to tell the git program you care about the file and want to track any changes from this point forward enter git uh, you know commit wait wait sorry uh, you know type this git in it then to tell the you okay then to tell 
the git program you care about this file and want to track any changes from this point forward enter git add readme.md make a commit so far you uh, you have created a file and told git about it and now it's time to create a commit commit can be thought of as a milestone every time you compile some work you can create a git commit to store that version of your file so you can go back later and see what it looked like at this point of time whenever you make a change to your file you can create a new version of the file different uh, from the previous one to make a comma uh, commit enter wait uh, you know this git commit dash m first commit so that's it uh, you just created a git commit and includes message that says first commit you must always write a message and commit it not only helps you identify a commit but it also enables you to understand what you did when the uh, with the file at this point so step 5 is connect your github repo with your computer now that's all you have created your first github rep 